with all the previous exercise, we can now turn to a more complicated case, like the Sprague Lane case, where we want to see if it's interested to invest in drilling for gas. So, um, some part of the exercise should be recognizable. In the first part, we're going to calculate the, the revenue, then we're going to uh, take uh, from it the expenses, calculate tax on it, and then we're going to look at uh, payback period and at present value. So there are several more things we need to in take into account and almost every formula is uh, a lot more complicated. So for example, if we start with the price, you see that it's the current price multiplied with the, the content, but the one is expressed in millions and the others is expressed in, in thousands. So you need to be careful over there. Then you get the price per unit, just the production of gas multiplied with one. So what's this production of gas? This is, it can be in 10% of the case that there will be no gas production. So you even need to take that into account. We're gonna see an example of what happens if that's the case. So we then have gross revenues, right? Just multiplying the previous two. We then have to pay royalties over here, 15 and a little bit. Okay, so that's the royalties. And so we get to the net present value. Then operational expenses. So you see that you had to pay an annual lease and monthly operation costs, and they depend about uh, the production of the gas. The next thing you see is that there is actually some taxes you take into account as expensive because the other taxes are income taxes, and these are country taxes. So they are expenses uh, and, and not uh, part of the tax calculation. Once we've done all that, we calculate, so again, also the, the country tax, so you need to calculate both of them. Then we're gonna uh, calculate the deprecation. Again, we need to take into account that there can be no gas production. And so again, we've got quite complicated formula, which you can find in the case itself, in the text. And we end up with profit before taxes. So in this case, 20, uh, 42,000. And then we've got several kind of taxes. We got also a depletion, which is more or less similar as a uh, deprecation. Again, look at the text. And uh, normally they say you need to take one of the two formulas. In, in our case, we put a min for it. So it, you can actually interpret that this is not really exactly right if you take one of but you can check yourself which of the two they have taken because one of the two will actually give all the the values we have over here okay then you have the state income tax just quite straightforward but the federal income tax that's a little bit more complicated one of the interesting things you see over here is that our federal income tax is negative, meaning that actually the federal uh, tax, federal income is paying us to drill for this gas. And they tell you that this comes because of a, um, some, something the politicians have agreed on, section 29 tax credit, that actually gives you uh, money. So, I mean, if you delete this case, you will, well, let's do that. No, no, we'll do that later on. We're gonna delete that and see uh, what changes. Profit after tax, right? So you see in this case that the profit after tax is actually bigger than the profit before tax. So we are getting money from the government. Um, after tax cash flow, that's this one. Of course, it's again, look, it's the profit after tax, but you had the depletion and the deprecation, which you took out of it, and you need to add it to it again. And we, we, so this is actually the real, uh, cash flow we have after taxes and you see that even after two years so in the payback period now is the second year it's it's almost two years and you you've uh, got back your investment so if you look at this example you think this is this is a gold mine right there's another quite interesting thing you see that it's net present uh, through the years right so you calculate every year the net present value again related to that year. So now you see that the first two years it's negative. So if you if you 
would have to sell the, the first two years, you, you wouldn't have an interesting return rate. But from the third year on, you see that it's already positive. Okay, we've put the the net present values over here. Cumulative cash flow. There are two internal rates of return. This is done because the the what, what the, the strange thing is that uh, before taxes. So this is after taxes. It's a lot bigger than before taxes. But if I, for example, say that the Credit Twenty Nine Act would stop, let's just say it's zero. You will see. Why isn't it refreshing? Yep. Oh, did refresh. You see now that um, the the profit after tax is fourteen. So it's now it's smaller than the profit before tax, like we would expect to. And you see down here that the net present value through the years is a lot less. So it becomes positive after year seventeen. So again, you can say that it's it's still a reasonable investment, maybe, right? But in this case, it becomes less interested to drill for this kind of gas. So that's why they created this Section 29 Act to make it a lot more interested, on interesting for um, drilling this gas. Um, other things, other things. We've created some scenario because in the text you see oh scenario that's in data. Um, that the this is actually, let's say, a positive view on it. We could also look at the worst case scenario. So, okay, no gas. It's also just if you change this to zero. So if I show it, yep, this has turned to zero. I'm gonna close it. Um, and it didn't refresh. The system is a little bit lagging. Um, so I refresh it, and you see now that um. We started with an expense of 160,000, but you see that after the taxes, actually, the governance pays a part of it, and we end up with less tax. But of course, that's that's like the risk we take at that moment. That's the case when there is no gas production, and then everything starts. Well, there's no gas production. Okay, another case where um, there is there is gas production. But the the worst case scenario, that's also another one they show in the text. Um, so if I show it, several of this variable has changed. For example, the production decline is now 1.6. And what you see over here is that um, these numbers over here, so this has an effect um, on, on that decline, right? So normally it was 1. Oh, wait. Didn't refresh. Now it refreshed. Um, see that they are a lot worse and this is what you get uh, with the production so you see over here production started on uh, 2024,000 uh, right um, and you see that so the first year is just the gas but the second year you have to actually we use the lookup function so we look up over here which year we're in so this time it's the, the and then you go and see how many percent decline there is so that happens every year so you see that the gas takes, there's always less gas. So in this case, you see that even after 25 years, we can just look over here, even after 25 years, our net present value is negative. So this is really a worst case scenario. Okay, and I'm going to wrap it up over here, and then we're going to look at the Monte Carlo methods.